But one thing about this shit, I can say the truth. If that goddamn more money do bring more problems. But my money make the closest nigga envy. The money got streets fucked up. These niggas want money, but they don't want to get out here and hustle for this shit. These niggas think this shit gonna find the motherfucking sky, so I don't know what the fuck these niggas think. These niggas think, goddamn, this nigga got something to give a nigga out here. I don't know what the fuck wrong with these niggas, man. They got life twisted. That shit crazy. My niggas ain't got sense of the fed. He closed his partner set him up. This shit go on every day in the hood, in the streets. The streets sound. Shit crazy. Yeah. Man, it's a lot of uh, a lot of things going on, and I know exactly what it is. If 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 you ain't never been gang stalked, and you don't know what, and you and you and you got a YouTube channel, and you talking about gang stalking, and you always saying this narcissistic word. Everybody a narcissist. Everybody a narcissist. Until you've been gang stalked, I've been made a public spectacle in your surrounding area that you was raised in. You don't know nothing about gang stalking. You don't know nothing about what a narcissist is. And I'm coming to the conclusion that all blacks have narcissistic activities. Just think about it. Just think about it, man. Just think about it. Just think about it. All of these YouTubers, I'm just as lost as everybody else. They don't know what 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 foot to put the shoe on. The right shoe goes on the right foot. The left shoe goes on the left foot. Everybody's lost. Everybody's talking about the relationships. Everybody's Dr. Phil. Everybody's on the outside looking in, following suit. That's what's going on. Everybody following suit. Narcissistic activities because you don't know what you're doing. See, like I said, a true narcissist know exactly what they're doing. A lot of people just low vibrational. You know what I'm saying? That's spirituality at its finest. So when you don't know what you do is you you, you infiltrate and, and, and you want to absorb a person's mind, uh, knowledge, and wisdom, and energy. It ain't nothing but a leech. So is, is, is a leech a narcissist? Yeah, most, most things in this, on this planet either gives energy, I take. Some of us are influences. We, some of us are true influences. But a leech don't have a mind. A leech don't know what he's doing. He's just going off of nature. So some of these people that have um, natural instincts to leech, that don't mean that they that they have some type of plan. It's just they they they. It's like a uh, it's it's called magnetism. It's spiritual. It's spiritual. The moth attracted to the flame. That's all it is. Is that simple? So guess what? My relations are straight. Can I get a Grammy? Can I get a Grammy? Can I get a Globe Globe Award? People don't understand. Everybody got their own path. Everybody got their own path. There's not one 
dynamic of a relationship that's the same. I carved out my own path. And I don't know if that's the proper word, ensemble. You know, you know, when you acting and you, you know, it's a whole bunch of uh, street opera going on and you blend in like a chameleon and then you used to playing this character. So what happens is when the camera goes off, you got to know how to go come at a character and be yourself. So what happens is I stayed in the character too long. I stayed in the character too long. Stayed in the character too long. I, I, I'm guilty. I'm guilty. I'm, I'm addicted to the character. It was a night, man, I had a nice run. My run ain't over. But a lot of those on the outside looking in is, is, is more intrigued and curious about, but what is he doing? Why is he doing this? What is he? My thing is this. Just read a book. Read a book. Some of y'all was influenced by individuals, individuals that y'all looked up to and y'all got influenced, but y'all didn't see, y'all didn't see the person that y'all was influenced by, y'all didn't see him when they was in the lab, how they was putting this shit together. Damn. Shit, just put a mic, put a microphone. When, next time y'all go around the people that y'all look up to, just put a mic in their crib. It's a dirty game. It's a dirty game, man. But the dirt, the game ain't dirty for the, for the ones with the energy and the light. The game is dirty for the ones that's following the suit. Because God made us, he wants us to be special. So if you got to follow suit, you're not special. So all y'all YouTubers keep making the same videos. Y'all just as lost as everybody else. Y'all know, know the dynamics of relationships. Y'all don't know nothing. Because as far as my relationships, I gave the people that I'm in a relationship with, I gave them something that they're going to have forever, the gift that keeps giving and then whatever they gave me, because two people that's together is most definitely going to get something from each other. As if it's spiritual, which everything is. As if it's good. A person ain't going to stay around if it ain't good. So it's always something good. It's just y'all not in the lab. Y'all not in the lab. My relationships all bring me some type of wealth. Please believe that. Thanks to my friend for teaching me how to eat right. It actually saved my life. She's my favorite person. She taught me how to eat right. And I taught her spirituality. Perfect balance. <laughs> mm -mm -mm. Hold up, hold up real quick. Let me let me let me let me let me reset real quick. Let me get back to my spiritual ventilation. This is what I'm a spirit, spiritual ventilate about today. The NAACP, the Urban League, all of these black organizations. You know where they fucking up at. You know where they slipping at. They just getting puppeteered by the man. And the man really don't have good intention for the community as far as the people that they puppeteering. And a lot of people is waking up that's in these organizations with the tight collars on and all the wigs and the hair, the curls, and the, you know, the, uh, the, whole, uh, the LBGT community, the LGBT community is sitting behind a desk. They feel like they prestigious when you walk in. That's why I, I retired 10 years ago. I retired. 
because I got tired of walking with these organizations and being gaslighted, and being uh, persecuted, and I just I just feel like I needed to be self sufficient. So I went down my I carved my own path. I carved it, but. People want to emulate, imitate, and find out what the recipe. You have to have your own journey in life. What I eat ain't the prescription for you. How I walk ain't the prescription for you. How I live is not the prescription. Because guess what? I'm going to do what the hell I want to do for the rest of my life. And be self-sufficient doing it. And be happy doing it. For real. <laughs> Mm-mm-mm. It's a damn shame, man. We have so many narcissistic individuals in our community. It's a damn shame. People lost. And at the end of the day, they're going to have to hit the start button and start on their own path to be self sufficient. Sufficient, excuse me. But um, let me start with my spiritual ventilation. Let me start with it because this is what's been on my head. I already started as far as the establishment and the puppeteers. What's going on is the Urban League and the NAACP is missing something highly important. And the establishment knows that they're missing out on this because of all of these distractions. What's going on is Lamar Jackson is the new not the new, but the modern day Jackie Robinson. Hold on, let me turn my TV down. He's the modern day Jackie Robinson. And they ain't even support the man doing all of this discrimination that he's going through. He's going through all this discrimination and they send back word about things that don't even matter to the black community because of all of these distractions that the establishment is puppeteering and holding off into their face. Like, like, uh, what is it called? Urban renewal. But the money is going all in the wrong places. That's where I come in at. I got the key to the black struggle. I done reached out to over 100 celebrities. Ain't nobody got back to me. But it's all good. Because I might have to do it myself. I'm going to do it myself. I got the key. I got the recipe. I got the antidote. While Lamar Jackson is sitting there going against the whole establishment and not even having an agent. That's the most important thing. He's not even having an agent because he feels like, what well, I have an agent for? I can speak for myself. I can speak for myself. And then the, this is the main thing. The Baltimore Ravens just signed a linebacker, Raekwon, uh, Roquan. I think he played for uh, Georgia Bulldogs. The middle linebacker that played for the um, who they play for uh, Chicago Bears, I think, and they traded him the ball. They just gave him a hundred million, and they trip. This is the linebacker, and they tripping over the quarterback that they drafted. They tripping about giving him two hundred and fifty million, and he's the reason why Baltimore sells seats. Two hundred. That's why I say money is not real. These people are trying to prove, prove a point. They're trying to prove a point. And the point is, motherfucker, we won't go in a different direction. And we didn't get the buck break you like we wanted to, Lamar Jackson. So we're going to sign as the linebacker to a hundred million five-year contract, and we're going to waver on giving you your 250, 300 million. But guess what? Greed. And ignorance is going to destroy America. Because this is the thing. This is the thing that y'all failing to realize. This is the thing y'all failing to realize. If quarterbacks are warranting $250 million contracts as we speak, $300 million contracts five years, 
in 20 years what they're going to be warranting, billion-dollar contracts. So this is the key. If a quarterback warrants a billion-dollar contract for five or six years, the dollar, the value of the dollar is going down. America is going to implode on itself. It's going to implode. It's going to implode. It's, 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 you, it can't be avoided. It can't be avoided. These quarterbacks is getting too much damn money. And they're trying to blackball Lamar from getting this contract. And regardless where he go, he's going to get it. He's going to get it. He might not have the legacy that all the other quarterbacks have, but he's going to get it. He's going to get it just like Aaron Rodgers. You know what I'm saying? I got the G on my neck. I used to be a Green Bay fan. No. I quit liking Green Bay when Aaron Rodgers won Super, won, won Super Bowl and they try to label him to go. He ain't no different from Russell Wilson. Russell Wilson went to the Super Bowl his first and second year and almost repeated. But they didn't want to give Marshawn Lynch the ball at the goal line. Fuck some sports. I don't even watch sports. Fuck, fuck some sports. And it gets a distraction anyway. I don't got time to be watching these motherfucking millionaires. I'm trying to give me some money, man. I'm trying to give me a little, a little wealth. Fuck it. Some energy. I'm trying to get some energy so I could uh, refurbish my career. But um, the main thing is Lamar Jackson. Lamar Jackson is the, is the modern day Jackie Robinson. And uh, America's going to implode because of ignorance and racism. And ain't nothing they can do about it. Ain't nothing they can do about it. So, uh, what else, man? What else, man? What else I got on my mind? All the great rappers and Dad, Dolph, Tupac, uh, Nipsey Hussle. So now, now the establishment is now trying to kill just any rapper to make it seem like it's a normal thing but an intent their true intent was just to kill all the major influences that was um, you know uh, black uh, panther with the black panther energy you know as far as black empowerment that had true knowledge so now you have all of these, it's too many of us, basically. So we straight, we straight, we straight. We didn't, we didn't, we didn't multiply it like gremlins, man. We good. But um, I don't know, man. What else, what else I'm trying to say, man? What, what else I got to inform the people on? And they, 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 they blackballing my channel. Like each one of my videos probably got 30, uh, 30 views. But I ain't tripping. I tag them and everything. I tag them, but they ain't getting out. So, like I said, the motto of my channel is the brighter you shine, the more you influence. So, people fail to realize I'm not a YouTuber. But what I do is I put my testimony and my experiences and my walk on my channel. So, like I said, money is not real. It's not important. I'm not going to be a slave to YouTube. You know what I'm saying? These motherfuckers out here putting videos out every day and don't know a damn thing. And then later on in life, they're going to be like, ooh, I was wrong about this. I was wrong about that. And it's just going to make them look like a damn fool. You know what I'm saying? Because they're not coming humbly. They're not coming righteously with their channel. A lot of people feel like they know and they sticking to it. Especially these uh trending narcissism uh, 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 YouTubers and, and and all the spirituality and you know they're not they they, 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 they stand in firm on what they believe in but they're not letting their followers know when they change they, 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 they ideologies you know they want people they just want followers you know they ain't no different from uh, they ain't no different from a cup and he, my, uh, motherfuckers is drinking all this Kool-Aid and they be like, oh, okay, okay. But it's all, they getting paid off the deception 
and the, the, the misleading of black minds. You know what I'm saying? Like, like, like the white race, they looking at us like we the most ignorant people because we putting, we're, we're basically, black people are basically sitting at the round table on YouTube and they sitting back looking like y'all are so primitive. White people know if you right or wrong because this is their society and they already know the truth. They just, they're just the main clowns, the, um, the clowns with all the different uh, de deceptive traits, which is true narciss narcissism. And when y'all talking about these relationships, alpha males, I remember that trend, alpha males, I need an alpha female. You can be a female, you can be, like they, they're actually seeing our growth. And they know they're basically taking statistics. And you can't tell me black people ain't narcissistic because everybody's following suit on the same topics. Nobody's original. Y'all selling out. Y'all most definitely selling out. And I ain't going to say no names. But anybody, anybody want to put me on their channel, and we can debate about it. We can talk about it. But I ain't going to say too much. I'm just going to interject and tell you when I disagree and when I don't. I ain't gonna say too much, just pay me for my face on the, on the screen. And then I interject, like a lawyer, or in the court, y'all dead wrong. Everybody won't be important, everybody won't think followers. Damn shame, while Lamar Jackson is getting lynched and, 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 and buck broke by the NFL. This is crazy, man. This is crazy, man. As the world turns. I smoke cigars. I smoke cigars. I've been smoking. Everybody know me know I smoke these cigars, boy. But, um, man, I couldn't. I've been hated on so much. Bad. My prayers, I can't even get a date in my city. Because I got this stigma on me, and and, 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 I, and I keep doing this, uh, uh, I keep winning this Grammy every time I step out. You know what I'm saying? Lights, camera, action. I truly enjoy being uncomfortable. Because how, how you going to grow if you don't come out of your comfort zone? And I'm quoting that. How do you get, how do you grow if you're just always in your comfort zone? Because one day, as, as, as the page is turned in the book and you get to the next chapter, one day you're going to wake up, it's not going to be your comfort zone. It's a new chapter. My whole life, i always been in an uncomfortable situation, which I thought it was, but God was molding me. He was molding me. I go through these, I go through these atmospheres and I love the energy because I can damn near feel the energy changing. So I go into this character like, ugh. You know, same thing Keith Murray going through while y'all sit back scoffing, my boy Keith Murray. Yeah. Keith Murray trending a little bit. I reached out to him. I just hope he take advantage of, of the influences that he got. And, and 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 the followers he got, and he do something positive with it. It ain't about what he's doing. He can do what he want to do. He's a grown ass being. He's a grown being, man. He's smarter than y'all. He's smarter than y'all think. You know, he uh, he just don't got he, he don't got nobody to love him around him. That's how that's how most most of us was uh, 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 veer off the path. Got all these people around us that, that don't let them. They won't actually won't see him lose and fall and be pub and be publicly baptized. But he need to go on and take advantage of the momentum that he has right now. But as long as he got them followers, he can take as he can take as much time as he wants. But if he gonna grow or wilter, what 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 is Keith Murray gonna do? Because ain't nobody around him loving him. We in the same shoes. We in the same shoes, man. But uh, 
Same motherfuckers that the infiltrate, player hate, be the same ones that's gonna wilter. And they're gonna have to question the motherfuckers that they report to is one day gonna question them because these narcissistic motherfuckers are cannibals, they eat their own. Salute, God bless y'all, you have a blessed day.